Good, Good morning. Welcome to Weekend, Weekend Wake, Wake Up. Up. Good morning. Morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. You ready for the word today? I'm ready. What okay. are you going to tell We're us We're going to talk about the truth will set you free. Woohoo. Okay. So Psalm 119, 160 says this, the sum of your word is truth and every one of your righteous rules endures forever. I love that. I love it. It says the sum, like all of it, the total sum of your word is truth. And you know, here's the thing. It endures forever. forever. It is everlasting. It st stands the test of time. It's not an outdated thing. The word of God is true and it cannot return void in your life either. So here's the thing. There's always going to be two facts coming at us. Yes. There's always going to be facts and then there's always going to be truths coming at us. Okay. And we have to decipher, are we going to go with the facts or are we going to go with the truth? That's right. Because everyone is going to have their opinion. Everyone's going to have their report. Everyone's going to have data. But you're going to have to decide, are you going to go with those things or are you going to go with the truth? You have to decide that. Are you going to go with the facts? Are you going to go with the truth? Are you going to go with what the word says about healing in your life? Or are you going to go with what the doctor says? And here's the thing about facts. When we go with facts, it always leads us down a road of doubt and unbelief. Yes. Now we think about Thomas, doubting okay. Thomas okay. in the Bible. Now he said... See, Jesus had died on the cross, and he was back in the in the flesh, okay. and he was going around seeing all the disciples and all the different people. Now, Thomas had not seen him yet. Okay. And he said, until I see him with my own eyes mm -hmm. and can put my hands into the holes of his hands and into the hole in his side, mm -hmm. I basically, I won't believe it until I see it. Now, think about Thomas. He was just going by the facts. The facts was, yeah. no one's ever come off of a cross. No. And he saw him, like he saw him die. <laughs> like he, they saw him at right. the end of it. Now, people have been raised from the dead in the yeah. Bible, but no one had come off a cross. Okay? Right. And died and rose, risen three days later. Yeah. By himself. And Jesus rose by himself. Right. Okay? Right. <laughs> like the power of God worked within Jesus. No one came and said, raise from the dead. So because of that, and because right. Thomas was so about... The facts, he, 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 the doubt came in because he was all about the facts. When we go with the facts, we, we, it, it, it in return produces doubt in our lives. That's one of the ways, okay? But Jesus said this to him. So Thomas, finally, here comes Jesus. And Thomas is like, this is what Thomas says. I believe it because I've seen it. And Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you believed Blessed are those who have not yet seen, yet have believed. Basically, you saw me, now you believe me. But look at this. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. I love this because Jesus attaches a blessing to your faith. He attaches so to a blessing to you haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen the abundance come. You haven't seen the, the healing happen yet. You haven't seen the restoration yet. But even though you haven't seen it yet, you believe and you're blessed because of that. You're blessed. Oh, so good. I love that. I'm blessed even though I haven't seen. So the fact might be that the doctor sees cancer in your body, but the truth is by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. <laughs> the fact might be that there's no money in your bank account right now, but the truth is, is God is an abundant God and he is, he can rain down blessing in, into your life, right? That he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. The fact might be right now that you sit there today and you have fear, but the truth is, is God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. We have to go with the truth more than we have, than we go with the facts. Well, I had a situation and I went with the truth. Yeah. Um, the facts were scary. The facts are we were on a family vacation and a week before we're supposed to leave, I got very, very sick and it lasted into a three month process. I couldn't keep anything in. Mm. I couldn't keep food in and I couldn't keep water in. I mean, it was really, really a, a, a frightening experience. Mm -hmm. And um, the facts were that there was something wrong. Yeah. 
And the facts were everyone I went to couldn't tell me what was yeah. wrong. Yeah. And that's a scary point. That too. is a scary point. Because the facts are nobody knows any facts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when there's no facts? Well, well you trust God. <laughs> you go to the truth. And the truth of the matter was, I know, I, I absolutely knew without a doubt, I am loved by God. I absolutely knew that I, I've been bought with the blood of Jesus. I absolutely knew that by his stripes and what he accomplished on the cross, what he sacrificed on the cross was afforded to me and to my yes. health. Yes. And we stood on that. And yes, in the end, we found a really amazing physician and I followed what he told me to do. Of course, yes. But the reality for me is God healed my body. Amen. And after scary facts, I stepped into an amazing testimony of health and wholeness and haven't had those symptoms, haven't had that mm -mm. issue. Mm -mm. And it's been several years. Like, mm -hmm. and praise um, God, praise God to, to him. He gets all the glory. Amen. And we do, we need to pick truth over facts, even in those scary moments. In the, even in the scary mm -hmm. moments. So I just want to pray with you today that if you are faced with anything yeah, thank you, um, Jesus. that, you know, maybe you have some kind of um, thing, illness in your body, or maybe you have something going on in a relationship, or maybe, oh, scary, you lost your job and you just don't know what to do. Yes. You know, God can supply on all those Amen. examples I give you, gave you, um, God, God can supply. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you and praise you for the word that is your truth. And it sets us free in our lives. And I thank you that you supply, that you supply the healing, that you supply um, the finances, that yeah. you supply the healing to the relationships now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that we choose today, we're not going to dwell on the facts, but we're going to focus on the truth now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and have a great Saturday.